so much commotion. With a new baby? Yes. Comes many new responsibilities. It's been a whirlwind. When little Skylar falls asleep or needs to be set down. <laughs> place to change her, place for her to nap. <laughs> That's it. Milwaukee mom Jacqueline DeFore uses this cardboard box. Since she came home from the hospital, day one, this was her first bed. What were your initial thoughts about thinking about putting a baby in a box? Um, I guess for me, I was fine with it. I'm like, you know, it's a decent concept. I mean, you think of a bassinet, they're not much bigger. The baby box meets bassinet safety standards set by the Consumer Product Safety Commission <laughs> and is designed to be used for the first five to six months on the floor. For baby safety, it's actually what they need. They don't need all the high-tech gizmos and gadgets. It fit perfectly in our room right next to the bed so I could feed her in the middle of the night. And she was right by mommy and daddy. So that was perfect. Not only convenient, but life-saving. You're finding that some women don't have a safe place to put their baby when they leave this hospital. Absolutely. Registered nurse Cheryl Bauer at Aurora Sinai Medical Center says they're offering the baby box to any mom who delivers here or at the West Dallas Women's Pavilion for free. It is very simple and really what it is meant is to really prevent co-sleeping. According to the Milwaukee Health Department, in 2017, 30 infants died from unsafe sleeping a 10-year high. We want to prevent um, those co-sleeping deaths and um, every baby deserves a fair chance and so this is that opportunity. Even if you don't have your baby at an Aurora hospital, starting next week there's a way for any parent in Wisconsin to get a free baby box. The company will be offering a class. It's a short course. You complete it and then they'll ship you your box. In the WISN 12 newsroom, I'm Hillary Mintz. All right. Well, we have a link of information uh, on that free baby box. It's on WISN.com.